de Xerabrod. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Staffy TV. Welcome back to the Red Devils Lounge. I don't have energy, but we got to be here. Right, Rhino? Right, guys? We got to be here because the show is scheduled. The content got a content. Fortunately, we don't back down. Fortunately, we don't hide. We're not like the United players in the last couple minutes of a game or after they can see the goal. Uh, but... Shout out to the chat. Make sure you guys smash a like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe to Rhino's channel. Subscribe to Temi's channel. I would love to ask you guys how you're doing, but I already know how you guys are doing. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyways. How you doing, Rhino? Listen, man. This club, just end the season, man. That's what <laughs> I got to say. End this flipping season now. You know how they say end the stream, Dave? End yeah. the season, bro. End this fucking season, bro. Bro. This club, man. I'll let the the man them introduce themselves, but this club, we've been talking about it and they call us toxic, they call us negative. This is what we have to deal with. Chelsea, out of all teams, Chelsea. Yes, we say they play better than us to a degree, but just the bragging rights, Chelsea beat us. Two goals, the dagger, last minute of the game. <sighs> anyway, we're going to talk about it, man. But you guys smash the lax anyway, man. Yeah, smash the likes. I'm about to add your links to the description as well. Um, but let me go to Temi first. Temi, I appreciate you actually messaging me today saying Temi was actually not going to make it because Temi was supposed to be at the Wizards game. But then he realized the game is not even today. Don't bro. you wish it was today, Temi? <laughs> low <laughs> key, wish bro. It was. I, I mean, low key, but I feel great, man. I feel, I don't know how, I, I feel, I feel fantastic, bro. I've had a great day. I, <laughs> I've had a, I've had a great day. Like, Literally, there's nothing that can deter me from having a great day today. Like, nothing. Like, honestly, I the result is the result. I have made up my mind as of last week versus Brentford that there is no there is no way Man United can affect my my mood for the rest of the season. It's impossible. It's impossible. I'm gonna watch the games because I know I'm 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 an obsessive fan. But other than that, shit. mad? Hell no. Hell no. Not even. But everybody hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you know, show some love to the panel, you know what I'm saying? All 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 the all the regular things, you know. All the regular things. 
they already know, bro. Listen, these guys didn't even duck because they were invited before the show. So they could have just been like, nah, I don't feel like it. Because I don't blame it, by the way. There's a few people that I hit up and they were like, bro, I, I can't be bothered to talk about United. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm not even mad at them. I, I really can't be mad at you. If, if anyone hits me up until the end of the season, they're like, yo, bro, I'm going to lay down on the content of the summer because I don't feel like <laughs> talking about this team. I really can't blame them, bro. <laughs> like, I have to be here. Right now, you get it, bro. We have to be here because that, that's your life as a content creator. At the end of the day, it's, it's like at the job at this point. So yeah. I got to be here. Shout out is. to Traps. Traps is always also here. Never says no to the invite. How you doing, my boy? <laughs> here we go. Yeah? <laughs> Spaghetti Mafia. <laughs> Oh, this is spaghetti yeah. mafia. That's hilarious. Is that your way of saying I'm on loan? I am officially on loan from today to the end of the season. I am on loan. Yeah. And I'm not blaming nobody. I'm just sick and tired of it. Like I told you, man, backstage, bro. This is like, bro, this is like your 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 bridge telling you for the four hundredth time that these girlfriends cheat on him. And you've given him the, you've given him the tools yeah, to stop this. Yeah. You <laughs> think you told him what to do. He's not hearing this, man. I mean, bro. Look, I'm not gonna say. Look, yeah, it is what it is, man. You look, just smash the lights, man. Because you know what? Yeah, it's fucking late. My head was hot. Yeah, but you know what? I said to myself, I can't let Staffy down. Just for the, look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna let Ten Hog. Yeah, Ten Hog's Red Army. Yeah, make me let Staffy down. So I'm here. So we're here. We're here, man. Just I for that, smash the lights, people, man. No, no, I appreciate that. But listen, bro, that's what I'm saying. You know what I did with these guys today? Today was the only day, every time I messaged someone the link, I was like, yo, confirm to me that you got the link. Because I wouldn't have been surprised if any... Bro, I swear to God, ask Temi. I was like, yo, Temi, you got the link? He's like, yeah, yeah, bro. Because I wouldn't be surprised if Temi just pretended he didn't see it. Check Same out. thing with you, Rhino. Bro, I even messaged Traps. I was like, yo, Traps, check your DM. <laughs> I've <laughs> never done that. You know what I do, Rhino? I send the link, and that's it. Whoever pulls like, I just up, trust them up. to show up, and if they don't, they don't. Today, I was like, yo, bro, these guys gone duck, bro. I don't blame them, bro. I actually don't blame them because I wouldn't want to talk about the game. Either. But listen, before we get into the talk of the of what happened today, make sure you guys smash that like, as I said, subscribe to the channel. I swear I'm like, what, 90 subs away from 4K now? Let me see. I'm on 915. So I need 85 subs to 4K right now. So if any of you are, 80, are, are one of the 85 people who haven't subbed yet, make sure that you sub. And uh, sub to Rhino, sub to Temi's channel. And big up Marco L for the super chat, my Egyptian brother saying, thank goodness I didn't watch the game. I didn't even know how we played, but I'm eager to hear it from you. Marco, trust me, you shouldn't be eager to, he eager to hear it from me. A big up for the super chat every time. W's in the, in the chat for my guy, Marco. Sunshine and Adam will be joining us soon. Uh, so we will have a six-man panel. Um, but they'll be joining us a little bit late. Adam is breaking his fast and... and um, Sunshine just got out of work, uh, off of work. I actually saw her send here. She said, big up, be there soon. Hit the like button. Yes, 100% hit the like button. There's 100 people here. We should be on a minimum 100 likes. 100 people, 100 likes. Let's just be be fair here. I actually don't know how to start this show. You know what I say every week, um, Rhino? Because every week, it's just like, even if we draw, it just still feels like a defeat. Even when we win, actually, yeah. it feels like a defeat. I said I'm running out of titles. I actually don't know what to write. every week, Rhino. I'm, I'm actually gonna, bro. I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start going to the library to educate myself more on English words to use because yeah. I need more words that express sadness, express yeah. disappointment, express failure, express all all these negative feelings. Today was an easy title because I could just put bottle it because. This is a new record that we broke. Let me say this to Traps, by the way, because I feel like Traps gets more angry when he hears this stuff. <laughs> Today, we, we broke two new records. Um, we are the latest team to ever bottle a lead with 99 minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. No team in Premier League history has bottled a, league, a, a lead later than us. The second stat is that... Yeah, it's laughable right now, I swear. The second uh, record... Uh, this is the first time we lost 17 games since the 1980s. I forgot exactly what year. The 1980s. 80, 80, 80, 80, 89. 89. I, I'll tell you for, 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 for now, for a fact, I wasn't even alive then. I know Temi wasn't alive. So, listen. Um, just another day in the office for Ten Hag. But let me go to Rhino first. Rhino, you watched the game. Um, started off 
conceding two goals. Then we came back. And I'm not going to lie. It's one of the weirdest comebacks. Like, I didn't feel anything at 3-2. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, we came back. Like, I, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it didn't feel like we worked hard for it, honestly. I felt like they gifted us goals. And then uh, with the United fashion, we're like, you know what? It's too easy, bro. Let's just give them, let's give them the points back, you know, because we robbed, <laughs> we robbed too many people of points, you know. You ever done something, you ever sinned right on you, feel guilty, so you're like, you know, let me do a good deed. Like, yeah, you know, like yeah, I've been bad yeah. for a while, let me balance be good. Out. You know, yeah, yeah, balance it out, balance out the sins with the good deeds. That's what we did. We were like, you know what, fuck it. let's just give them, let's give them the win. And bro, the fact that we conceded two goals in less than two minutes, including the, the silly penalty. I don't know what to say, bro. I actually was just ran out of words. How did you feel, bro? That's, that's exactly the same, man. I did my match reaction. Make sure you guys check that out right now. MGTV. Make sure you check it out, guys. And I was lost. I was all over the place. I didn't know where to start, who to, what to talk about. And it's funny because this game was such a weird game. For, for 45 minutes, I, was, I had to go and do something and come back. So I was just watching it in my car. Got back in. And then while I was watching the second half, I was uh, making some food and whatever. And it was just such a weird game because when Chelsea were 2 0 up, I kind of felt like we're going to, uh, United are about to hold a beating. I was thinking, okay, this is going to be one of them games where we're going to be embarrassed. It's going to be like a 4 0 or 4 1 kind of thing. So I started to think like that. Then the, the um, Garnacho scored. I thought, oh, wow, same as you, no reaction. I just thought, oh, okay, that, that does my dignity, you know. That's all I felt like, okay, you know what? That's my dignity. My dignity is back a bit. You feel me? And then. Boom, Bruno scored that goal. It was a good goal as well. Didn't feel nothing at all. Then when it's 3-2 now, I see the man them passing the ball around. I'm just, I just don't have the confidence. I swear I said this game's a draw. For the last 10 minutes, I'm like, guys, please, guys, give us a good result. Let us have something to talk. Let, let us have something positive to speak about on the streams today. Please, just don't bottle this. Just let us have something positive. Bro, and what's the worst? The worst thing about it, you know, when you know something's happening, but then you get kind of, you get like a double shock. So when you're expecting a draw, it kind of, it's like, cause you, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you jinx it cause you're expecting a draw. So we had to get double jinxed and lose instead of drawing. So in my head, I was thinking, you know what? Cool. This team's gonna, we're gonna draw. We're dead, man. But we could have got this game. We could have won. Then we're drawing. I'm freaking raw. Then that deflection, that deflect. I, I swear to you, like typical Manchester United fashion. Typical. I couldn't believe it, and I felt just. I, can't, I don't. I just felt my head was gone. I didn't even know how to feel. I just had to laugh. I laughed. I said, I "You know laugh. what they say, Ronnie? You know why you're <laughs> laughing?" And, 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 yeah, and I'm happy that you we go went. crazy. You know what it is? They say if you don't cry, if you don't laugh, you cry. Cry. And we've I cried swear. enough this season. Now it's just time enough. for us to laugh. But you know what it is, Rhino. And and I know people like to say, oh, there's the main key, main sin, main character syndrome stuff. In the beginning of, uh, of the year, Rhino, not the season. We'll go back to January, maybe. I was checked out. I told people we won't get top four. I'm not laughing. Mm. I, I don't care about celebrating goals if I actually don't feel it at the moment. Oh, this guy's negative. This guy's this, yeah. this guy's that. It's so funny that now most of these people finally join me. But oh, all of a sudden, it's okay. It's okay yeah. now to be negative because now we see it's concrete. But when I kept telling them, remember when we went on that run, that fluky run I know, and yeah. we were picking up wins that we didn't deserve. Yeah. But you need yeah. to celebrate the moment. It's not sustainable. That was after, after oh, Stockport, look at this negative it? fan. He's just, yeah, yeah, Stockport, even before that. Oh, and, and big up men in the chat. In the chat, I see men are saying big up stuff in the panel. No traps is ready to put their eggs uh, both head in the toilet. Listen, you missed it, but Trap <sighs> is on loan, so he doesn't care anymore. But we've come full circle, Rhino. We've come yeah. full circle, and no it one tells sense. me I'm negative anymore because everyone yeah. now is negative. No one sees yeah. anything. Everyone now knows it was a fluke. Anyone who people like I'm, not, I'm just making it about me. People like Saeed, the same thing. How long has Saeed been called a fake fan, and he yeah. only does that, yeah. and he goes yeah. to the games just to to film negative rants, this this and that. Bro, look at us. But Stafford, you know why this is good, though? This is good. I, I'm saying this as a United fan. 
because we need to rip off the wallpaper and see how damaged the wall is. Because a and lot I don't of mind these fans, right and I don't yeah, mind. let's see it. This is what we are. So all these fans that get onto Staffy, Saeed, Traps, all of us for being, because me, I tried to be in the middle for a long time, Staffy. You remember when no, no, you I guys checked you out? You tell me. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. yeah. I tried to hold on. I tried to hold on, but you have to be real. And this is where we're at. These, this is the problem. Like everything gets plastered up, the cracks get papered over, and we don't see how bad we are. Bad we are, and the people live on this hopium, hope, and then think that we're gonna win, and think things are gonna change. Like this is where we are. So sink the ship and let's fix everything again. And all these ten hog inners, come on! I, I would love to see uh, this week's gonna be an interesting week because we're gonna be on a few shows. We're gonna speak to a lot, of, a few ten hog inners, and we're gonna see where they are. I would love to know their excuse now. Do you know what they're gonna say? Oh, we expected this, guys. It's going to be a bumpy ride. You have to, you have to see that the, you have to realize that this season is going to be ups and downs. This is and shocking, will, bro. We'll address these fools when we see them. But for now, speaking of Ten Hag inners, let me let me just read this out, bro. Hmm. Eric Ten Hag said we deserve to win this game, but we can't give it away like we did. We started poor, giving the ball away and defending poorly for the first two goals, but we dominated the game and we were brilliant. There's another quote that I'm going to look for. Um, he said it in, in these words that basically we play, high, uh, what was it? High value football, something like that. No, no, really. He said, but sometimes the result goes against you. Something in those words. I'll go find it. This guy really thinks that we play this fantastic football that none of us probably see other than him. No, I don't think he means that, man. I think when he says high value, yeah, I don't think he means... High value, like it's it's top football. I think he means high value, like high risk, high high risk for high for high value. Do you see what I mean? Or oh, high risk, high reward. Because you know, well, what high risk, you, you know high risk and high value are two different things. Yeah, but obviously, you know, you do. They say no risk, no risk, no reward, innit? You know what I'm saying? No, no, I hear what you're saying, but, but I I don't even trust that he was saying that. But anyway, yeah, you know what it is with me? I'm not cooking him like that anymore, no yeah. Because he can say whatever the fuck he wants to say. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, he can say whatever he wants to say. Yeah, because. If you think it's high value football, low value football, whatever, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing this. This circle, this this circus of 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 ten hog in the fryer every every, every 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 week, yeah, because you know what, yeah, like I've seen these how this how this fan base moves, yeah, and I'm, I've clocked it. You see all you ten hag in man, yeah, that think you can sit there talking about trust the process. You man are in some race, yeah, come competition to be like who's the who's the best United fan in the world. I wouldn't be in that competition. So let, let's see how far we can stick with this until until it actually goes blow, it blows up in man's face. But I'm telling you now, today, yeah, today it wasn't even, it wasn't even, do you know what? I'm not even pissed at the fact that we lost, yeah? I'm pissed at myself. Do you want to know why? Because I said to myself, these men win, we're still sixth. These men lose, and them men win, they're still 11th. This is a mid-off of all mid-offs. I've got things to do. I've got things to do. I don't need to see this game. I, this game does not... I'd rather watch the Liverpool game because we're going to lose one of these games, yeah? Maybe two now, yeah? So I'm not interested in this game. I took it upon myself, minding my own business, to go and watch this game. <laughs> For what? For what? For what? For my head to be hot. I wanted to smash up my yard. I wanted to smash up my house. Not because of the result, because I'm saying, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> this is not normal behaviour. This is not normal behaviour. This, this is glutton for punishment. This is what this is, bro. Yeah, what, what am I doing here? I don't need to be here. Yeah? So, you know what? I took myself away, flag on the inner top, I'm watching them to the rest of the end of the season, mate. Because at least then, yeah, at least, yeah, I'll get some satisfaction. I don't want to hear this shit no more, man, because it's like, I, obviously, cool, I get it. We're United fans. We have to go through it. You, you, you uh, we do the the, the 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 social media thing and whatever, yeah. So we, we have to be here and we have to post things. I don't even post no more. I just post on my story because I can't be bothered to be saying the same shit week in, week out. Like I'm gonna say, it, yeah. I, I, I said it in the group chat last night. Sack this man tonight, blood. There's no point in this no more. Like think about it like this. Ineos need to look at this like thinking, listen, if we sack this man now, new manager bounce for 10 games, we might even get FA Cup out of it. At least the fans will be on our side for next season. Fuck this guy, bro. 
fuck this I guy. Hundred <laughs> percent, bro. Guy, bro. Like, what is uh, the point of this guy? Like, you know what it is, traps. I just want a good, a, a good feeling. Like, I need a, a good feeling factor in 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 games now. Like, I don't go to the games obviously because I live all the way here. But mm. someone like Saeed is an example. Like, I just imagine being him, having to wake up and go to games or any match going. Fa- like, I don't think there's anything to look forward to. I need something to excite me. I'm not going to lie. I have to motivate myself to watch United games. That shouldn't be how I feel as a United fan. Temi is sitting here saying there's nothing United can do that can ruin my day. It means Temi <laughs> isolates his life away from United. He enjoys United, uh, sorry, his life. And then when it comes to United, he's managed to build a wall Numbers. or a block that's so strong to the point like no matter what happens in Temi's day, United winning, losing or drawing will not affect his mood. I don't think you should be approaching your favorite football team like that as a fan. As far as I remember, we are supposed to enjoy our team. Even if we don't win, I don't expect us to win everything. But, bro, there is no way we should be feeling like this. United feels like an absolute chore. And it gets worse and worse and worse every game. And what makes it a lot worse is the things that this manager says. He absolutely gaslights us. And Temi, you said that uh, on, on um, Saeed's show last time. You said at this point, he's insulting our intelligence. And I'm going to ask you this question. Last game, when Brentford pe- peppered us, he said, I don't care about how many shots I concede as long as we don't concede goals. Whoa, whoa, lad. Now, listen, I think all of us here are intelligent enough to understand the more chances you concede, the higher the probability is that you're going to concede a goal. Today... Guess what, Ten Hag? You conceded 28 shots and conceded four goals. Temi, we are conceding the second most shots in the league with 17 point something. Now, it was 16 point something last week. Now, it's over 17. We are on track to being last place. The only team that we have not exceeded yet is Sheffield. We are putting Sheffield-esque numbers. What are you saying, bro? Yeah, so actually to add on to your to your lovely statistics, I think I saw a stat that in the calendar year of 2024, we've conceded the most shots in Europe. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty yeah. sure I saw that um, yeah. not too long ago. In, in Europe... 225 shots. Yes, we're conceding the most shots in the calendar year in all of Europe. And it's crazy. I Honestly, like, I wish I could be as emotive... Cause I'm normally I'm a I'm a I love Man United. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I'm a passionate fan. But I was with Ma Dukes last week, man, and we're just watching the Brentford game. And when she saw me, got mad. She was just looking at me like, every time you come here, they lose. Every time you come to the crib, we watch your games and they lose. Why? Why? I'm like, and I I thought I'm like, yo, she's so right. She's so right. Ma Dukes is so right. Like she doesn't even watch football like that. She doesn't watch football. She doesn't watch football at all. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that she's clocking, like, what is wrong with this guy? Why is he so upset about a team that's not good? You know what I'm saying? Well, how many games left do we have in this season? Eight? Seven? In the Premier League? Something like that? Like, why would I be mad? Like, what? I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning. Chelsea Man United felt nothing. No nerves. No no excitement. No, no, no emotion. I was seeing people tweeting, I'm nervous about this game. I'm like, nervous about what? What are you nervous about? This is, this is, this is, have you seen that meme of the two shorties who are beefing on, on Twitter and they're, and they're both just average, yeah, so. average looking <laughs> joints. That's how you tweet that, bro. Like, that was funny. And let me, bro, let me and, they, and bro, and somebody recorded said, bro, these, these girls are having a mid off. That, that's the, that was the game today, bro. Two, a bunch of mid facing each other. Like, when Ryan, you know, it was, tell me, tell me, you know, it was, yeah, you know, it was. It was two. It, it was two things that used to be fire back in the day, yeah, and now they're finished. Bro, look at this. This is this is it, bro. This is this is Chelsea and Man United, fam. This is it. This is this is Chelsea and Man United, bro. Two, bro, mid having a mid off, bro. That, bro, come on, man. What are we doing? That, that this, we this doing? was my favorite one. Hold on, bro. This what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, bro? <laughs> Come on, fam. Like, what are we talking? What are we talking, bro? What are we talking about? Like, 
when Rhino said, oh, we were up when we when we got down 2-0 that he was worried that, you know, we might get – I was like, no, Chelsea are also terrible. They weren't, they weren't playing that well. That's the crazy – they were giving the ball away, sloppy, and the, at the back, the mistake that they made for the – first bro, it was, it was as bad as we were. Chelsea were equally as bad. And the fact that they were bad and still scored four goals, fam – like, I, honestly, I think Sir Dave Brailsford and um, Sir Jim Ratcliffe were in the building today. Bro, they're probably just looking like, man, this guy, he's done for. It's not <laughs> even that, yeah? It's not um, even that. Bro. Man's got a cheek, yeah, to be saying, yeah? Man's got a cheek to be saying about, he, he told, he told, um, he told, uh, 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 rap to, to Jim that he, he, he needs to be patient and, 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 and let him deal with the, the project or whatever. Bro, are you all right? You think these men are stupid? You think stupid, bro, bro? Bro, these guys are high, bro. These guys are high. You can say what that you can say what you want about Nice, bro. These guys have managed high level sporting institutions and done well. Maybe not. Maybe Nice hasn't reached the heights they wanted to reach. Whatever the case may be, bro. At, at at a minimum, I know they can't be worse than the Glazers running the football club. Okay, they're not blind. They're seeing what is happening. Twenty eight shots t- today. Thirty plus shots uh, against who was it? Brentford. Like, 83 touches in our box uh, Brentford had. Like, this is not like – this isn't normal. Like, even bad teams don't do things like this. I mean, we're a bad t- – I'm just saying, like, re- relegation teams don't do this. You see what I'm saying? Like, the fact that we're – how are we sixth place? Have you Man, thought about, me, we're, we're have you sixth, about by that? the way. On, have you on thought ne- about that? We're on like, a negative goal dip, uh, goal difference, bro. In April, by the way, Leon, I see Leon in the comments. Uh, right now, if you, uh, or traps, if you guys could, because I don't have my phone on me, can you send him the link? And uh, yeah, if you want to come on, bro, I see you said that. Temi, we're uh, you're, you're absolutely spot on. Bro. We're sixth in April with negative one goal difference. Bro, imagine we can actually make Europe on a negative goal difference. Bro, it should be illegal. It should be illegal to it's make. It's a joke, bro. You should not be allowed to enter a European competition with a negative goal difference. It should be like they should just give it to the next man. Give it to Newcastle. You know what I'm saying? Newcastle is in what, seventh? Give it to Newcastle, bro. Minus one goal differential, bro. Chelsea again. The frustrating part, Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, he's, he's a good player, bro. I'll say that he's the he's the one shining light in that team. Like he's he's a baller. The rest of them, Enzo, Kaiser, they played like shit. They played like shit. Like they did not play well today. That's the crazy. Like that's the craziest part to me. We had a a seven goal thriller with two teams that played awful. Normally, when two teams play that bad, it's a nil nil. Maybe somebody nicks it one nil. Like. Brentford played way better than Chelsea did last week, right? And they only they nicked they, they nicked a goal. It's just this season is crazy to me. It's actually crazy to me. Like I can't wrap my head around it. And honestly, I'm I'm getting worked up talking. Like I've been silent now that I'm talking. I'm getting worked up. But it's like I just can't even. I can't even wrap my head around this shit. It's so crazy. But luckily. We have like two months left in the season, bro. May is coming up. I'm going to Portugal and Spain, bro. I'm about to be vibing out in May, like having a great time. Like I'm just looking forward to my trips, vacations, you know what I'm saying? Having a good time in Europe, you know, going out of the country. Like I, Man, United cannot, Man United cannot ruin me. Like I will, I refuse. I'll get emotional. Like it, it hurts when you're good, like, and you lose games like this. You know, maybe you're competing for top four. You're competing for a uh, European tr- something. We're not competing for anything. We're competing for sixth Europa League conference. We might be in the conference league. We might be in the conference league next year. That that us, bro. You know what I said to someone today? He said we'll be in the conference league. I said, bro, I always wanted to go to Albania. Not really, bro. That, tell me something about going to Portugal and Spain. Listen, bro, I always had a fantasy that I wanted to find an Albanian wife. Maybe it's my time to find an Albanian wife, bro. It is what it is, bro. What, what what can I say, bro? What can I say? By the way, two hundred people here. Over 200 people here. Make sure you guys smash a like. Subscribe to Rhino's channel. Subscribe to Temi's channel. And um, and what, what was I going to say? Let me ask you this, Rhino. I'm, I'm looking at today. First of all, we considered another cutback. In other words, water is wet. You know, the skies are blue. Nothing new. Here's the thing. We went down 2-0. Came back. And then conceded two goals right away. Like yeah. back-to-back. What is more embarrassing, Rhino? The fact that we went down 2-0 or the fact that every time we concede a goal, 
or we score a goal, we can see the goal right after. Like, we seem to always have issues with dealing with adversity. Yeah. The minute the yeah. game gets a little bit too difficult, we don't know how to deal with it. Fair enough, we came back from 2-0 to 3-2. I think a, a large part of it came down to Chelsea gifting us goal. I mean, they, they actually passed us the goal for the first goal. Like, yeah. Caicedo yeah. actually told us, here we go. We'll try to bring you guys back in the game. And he passed the Garnacho. Yeah. Yeah. But you still... Like, bro, you're being gifted goals and you're still lost. Yeah. You can see the penalty. You know, back then, Ryan, I used to see, like, the minute we, we can see the goal, you see Rio clapping and, like, just telling everyone, that, like, heads up, Vidic, Rooney, Evra, everyone used to, like, bro, be on it. Be on it. Now, and you never we can had see that one sense goal. Of, when you, them times, when, when you came back, you never had that sense of it reversing. It just felt solid. Yeah, I would never think. Yeah, yeah, it's over, bro. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. We've done that. So many. Remember, we, we'd yeah. be down 2 0 to Spurs. The minute we come back, oh, it's over, bro. It's we'll done. score more. Game's done. We've won. We scored yeah, five. Yeah. Which yeah, actually yeah. reminded me of something, and, and, and I'll let you go. We had 19 shots today, Rhino. Zero of them came after we scored the third. It means the minute we scored the third, we said, yeah. you know what? Job done. That's true. Yeah. And yeah. we stopped attacking, bro. Why would you yeah. stop attacking when you had yeah. the, your foot on their neck? Why did you stop attacking? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I just, I just, to answer your question, I think it's more embarrassing the fact we can't hold the lead and we concede so quickly because football is football, isn't it? Like teams have bad starts and it's, it's, it's always about how you finish. I feel like a team like Liverpool do it a lot. They can go one nil down and second half they pattern up and they at least solidify the game and they win. So this is the problem and this. This pattern of United has caused us so much trauma that we're not used to coming back and being comfortable. That's it's mad. I've forgotten how it feels like for us to be winning and just feel like, yeah, we, this game's done. I've actually forgotten that feeling. I have to think back to old school days. It's great. It's absolutely shocking. And listen, I feel like I need to take a page out of Temi's book. I, the thing is, I know mentally I've checked out, but I still have that inner passion to be upset and think, look at this club. Like, just watching them stink the gaff out. I'm just looking at these embarrassing hey, players. I know. Watch, watch the game with my dudes. Whenever, <laughs> when next time, next time you're at the crib, bro, bro, watch the game with moms, bro. That's what changed. Because I literally, after when Brentford conceded, when we conceded against Brentford, I was, put, I slammed my, I slammed my hand. I, I was on the ground slamming my hand going. And she was just looking at me like, <laughs> I was like, wow. Like I just, I was like, wow. I'm embarrassing myself in front of my moms for this club. Nah, I can't, I can't even do it. I said never again, bro. Bruv, that's said, that's again. even hilarious because my mom supports United, isn't it? But she don't really watch football no more. Yeah. She's so used to them just bottling it. Like, and the, the and the the way she talks to me and the things she brings up when she's talking about oh how bad United are falling or whatever because we proper used to watch them in the glory days mm -hmm. and. The fact that she, when she hears how we're playing or, and she hears the results, she's, she's baffled. She's yeah. like, oh my gosh, this club has fallen to the ground. So it's, it's mad, bruv. We're in a state right now where we just need the season to end. We just need to start seeing, you know, like when, when the, the transfer window opens and you start to get that refresh of posit positivity, like, okay, this player's coming in. Okay, you know what? Let's reset. Let's start the next season. Let's see where we go from it. We just need to end the season and we need to move on. We need to see, we just need... This whatever's happening right now just needs to, to to be done. The sink needs to be the ship. The ship needs to sink now. Sink it. All these ten hog inners c come back to life. Come back to reality, and let's realize what we need. We need to see what because Omar, Omar Barada and them man can't be looking at this and be satisfied, bruv. There's no way they could. There's a possibility that they keep ten hog in. I just don't see it. And no, then on no, top of that, this no, guy's no. chatting crap in the. No, there's bruv, no way. Like, I've listened to I've listened. people have people have there's a lot of fans who are are rushing the gun on Sir Jim. Everything I've heard from this man, like there's no way, there's just there's just no way Ten Hag is staying, bro. There's just no way. It's, just not, it's, not, it's not possible. Like they can't like they, these guys aren't fools. It's impossible, bro. Like, maybe maybe if the Glazers were still running things, they're yeah, not watching yeah. they're, not, they're not watching football matches, they don't know what's going on, they just see wins and losses on on a on a, on a map. You know what I'm saying? They're not watching these. Do you games. think Liverpool's going to be the dagger? Do you think if we get smoked no, on they're, Sunday, they're, they're seeing this? He's he, he's staying the whole season. Out. He's seeing out. Like wow, like for, I, I get it. I I personally get what like. I'm not going to lie to you. A smoke, a tanking from Liverpool 
Like, I can see him getting sacked off. Get Man said they're tanking. <laughs> I see that happening. I don't think so, bro. I just, I think, I bro, think they I'm were... telling you, bro, I'm telling you now, yeah. What hey, you have to a remember, tanking. Like, what you have to remember is Battle Jim Ratcliffe, says. yeah, is uh, uh, Manchester born and bred. Yeah, right. He, mm-hmm. and not only that, yeah, he has to sort of, you can't, he's not going to let this guy get tanked, but I'm talking at tanking. I'm not talking. A 1 0 loss, a 2 0 loss. I'm talking a 6 0, 5 6, 4 5 6 0. Yeah. He, I don't think he survives that. I'm not going to lie. I don't think he survives that because at the end of the day, what you have to remember is is that these lot, like, the way the fan base works here, yeah, the way this, this, this stinky fan base works is, is that if the players play good, the manager gets the praise. Yeah. If the players play shit, the players get the praise, probably. And if the well, if the players if the players play shit, the players get the no. The players play shit. The um, the, the glazing. <laughs> Jeff's like, still over the place. place. <laughs> no, it's the truth. The, but I can't even think straight. But the, 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 the Blazers will get the blame. Yeah, and probably McTominay will get the blame. Yeah, this is how this fan base works. Yeah, so why are they going to sit there after two ta- like seven nil from Liverpool last season, and then another tank in this season? And then go with this manager because they know if it goes left, he's untrustworthy. No, they're not going. If it goes, if it goes left, term, not they're, going to, they're going to get the blame for it. So they may, as, if they're going to get the blame for it anyway, they may as well just go with their own man anyway. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about long term. I'm just talking about seeing out the season. No, nah, he's not. Okay? Listen, a tanker from Liverpool. There's no way he's seeing out the season. I'm telling you, a tanker from Liverpool. He's getting sacked. Bro, I think I think they're too busy looking for the next man. Like it, bro. I hear you. Know, Ten Hag's record is irrelevant to them. They don't care. Like it does not. It, it affects nothing for them. It literally does. Him staying, him going for six games or leaving, it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right? What they are doing as we currently speak, they're coming to these games. They're assessing players. They're assessing. They're assessing. I'm not even saying the manager. They're assessing players. Who's gonna? Who do we think can stay? Who do we think can go? Where you know they have Omar, whatever. They're bringing in new guys left and right. Like that's what they're focused on building out a structure. This manager is collateral damage. He's surplus to requirements. Yeah, stay, bro. Stay for the rest of the season, and you can sign. You can you can sign an aura. As soon as as soon as the last game is done, get out of here, man. Get out of here. You're done for. You're done for. So it doesn't like. Oh, I, don't, oh, I, I, press, I don't think he survives the tanking from Liverpool. I'll be honest with you. The reason, and I, I get what both of you are saying. And first of all, big up Sunshine for joining us. I know we joined a little bit late, but she just came for work. So we appreciate even being here, Sunshine. The commitment to, to the content creation life. Listen, it's it's on another level right now. So big up yourself. What Tony's trying to say, Traps, is is the thing is, it's like he's looking at it like he, Enios right now. No, just he's just he's a dead man. Like it's it's over. There's no point of sacking him because they know the season is done. A win or a loss. For, Okay, traps. So what what is left for the season? The season. What's left for the season is you've got a cup to win, mate. Okay, I hear that. But realistically, are you getting a manager in right now that's going to win us the cup? What, what you're not going to get? Well, you're not going to get a manager in right now, as in like a replacement manager. But I'm telling you now, you you can get interim in, new manager bounce to the end of the season, win that trophy. But that's what I that's that's the way I see it. That is the way I see it. I see it. if you if you get this man out here, you get these like, breath of fresh air in there, get this team playing a bit of ball from now to the end of the season, yeah, and you win a trophy, bro. You know what this fan base is like. This fan base is gonna be loving in your spot. Six months time, they're gonna be in your till they die. <laughs> I hear you. Listen, I see Ryan here saying, listening to the last few minutes on the radio on the way back from our game. Beautiful, you're the Red Spurs. Obviously, that's coming from a Liverpool fan. This is trying to insinuate that. What is that? Is that sixteen out of ten, Raya? Right. Hey, I was about that's to it. say, bro. Listen, yeah. we're gonna talk about bottle. This is this is this is real bottle right here. Okay, this is how you bottle. That's something. Not By the way, but here can I we just are. say the two girls below us are looking sixteen out of tens today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told as for. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wait, was that, the, was that was that bro who just posted that, bro? Yeah, 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 that's right. yeah, yeah the that's cheek right. The cheek of him, the cheek, man. Big fella, get your game up, bro. Step your game up, man. That is. Yo, that tell is me, you ever you ever risen up a DC chick and called him a called her a sixteen out of ten? Bro, a, a sixteen out of ten, bro. Come that's on, crazy. That that oh, is. Do not make me laugh, though. Zero yeah. out of do ten game, bro. Zero, out of ten. Awesome. zero. Let's stay on that for a second. Liverpool, if they want to talk shit, bro, that is sad, bro. Have you never talked to a woman before? What the hell? Hey. Six out of ten. Damn. Um, uh, sunshine. Well, ever, did, a guy, more sauce than that, man. did a guy ever call you a sixteen out of ten? You you give him yeah. you give him your number. Yes. <laughs> she said flat out. That, no. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Doing that's too much. Crazy. Doing too much. Hey, hold that, Ryan. Hold, hold that, Ryan, man. Hold yeah, that. Pick up yourself, man. Hold that. The wrist in the toilet. The wrist <laughs> in the toilet, bro. God damn, bro. Bro, he, he had he had worse game than than the low today. But listen, before we go to, to <laughs> uh, he said something. He said something like in the chat. <laughs> Look at this. The, the team bottles another stoppage time lead. Nah, 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 bro. You can't say shit. Listen, <laughs> shit, I think, shit, bro. Not after that performance with those shorties, bro. L. <laughs> L. L. That's worse than anything United has done today. Oh, I'm not gonna that, lie to that you. Is worse than any Man United performance I've seen in my life. That's a problem. <laughs> Hold That's that. A problem. Hold that, Ryan. Hold that. Before, before I go to Sunshine, let me let me get a couple super chat out of the way. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe and subscribe to all the channels. I added Sunshine's channel to the description as well. So make sure you sub all to all to them, um, all their channels. Big up JW saying the Fergiest of games, but the roles were reversed. Yeah, bro. Listen, back in the day, Fergie time used to work for us. Now Fergie time works against us. Back to back games, we were conceding it in, in, in injury time. So I don't know what to say now. Big up uh, V1K United saying um, we need Rance to be manager. He has the badges and importantly, he knows how many lines we need. Big up Rhino, an offside trap. That's the show that... um that um rhino does on his channel so make sure you sub to his channel and um uh, you got yeah. to check him out him and him, him and uh traps do a weekly show together uh leon we have the resources i don't know if the, is that a quote that he said yeah leon always talks about resources <laughs> speaking of leon where is he i thought he told me he wants to uh, um i think he's gonna join so yeah yeah i forgot about him bigger blaze saying big up the panel bottom right look at look at six <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hey, hey, use that. I'm gonna use that next time I meet a joint, bro. Hey, you don't do it. it. Don't do it. Hey, you were 16 out of 10. No. Crazy. Hey, man. It's, it's sometimes it's about the person delivering it, bro. You know what is? It's, it's, right you know it's, it's flawless. His face, man. The flawless has got one of them faces where it's just like. You say something that's not funny. Just looking at flawless will just make you bro, just make flawless, you dumb. Bro, hey, play the, hey, run, hey, stop it. Run that shit back, bro. Run yeah, that run shit it back. By the way, it, can I just are. say the two girls below us are looking sixteen out of tens today, both of them. <laughs> All right, okay. I big up the panel. I told as for. And do you know what it is, yeah? Flawless is a real guy, bro. Because he, 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 bro, while he was drowning, he saved him quickly. So, no, nah, let me let me rescue him. He, he was like, he was like, I right, big up the pedal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my pedal falls in place. Like, bro, there's no way you just did that, bro. <laughs> no, it's fucking mad. Still, it's mad, bro. I'm telling Stop you. it, bro. Oh my god, that is too fucking funny, man. He said, "All right." <laughs> Uh, big up the panel, yep. <laughs> big up the panel. Hey, you know what's so funny as well? It's the way. It, do you know what it is? When he said it, he thought he was the man. You know, the second he said it, he's waiting for the vibe. Like, is that? that? Then he oh, realized, shit. oh shit. Dead, just dead stare, blank stare, oh, no response. Yeah, man's, no, got no, that, no. man's got that Eric Ten Hag riz, you know. This is crazy. <laughs> man's got that Eric Ten Hag press conference riz. <laughs> we, I think we had a good game. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, get off! Hey man, get off football Twitter and go go out and talk to somebody, bro. Hey, yeah, bro, that's what I'm bro. 99% of football Twitter are bots, bro. Get yeah. out, meet a woman, say hi, shake a hand, <laughs> man. 
God damn. No Riz. No Riz. That's oh, crazy. Oh, my so gosh. God, that's funny as shit. Oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. That's said we had a good game. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's legendary, bro. I'm <laughs> Bro, thank he, 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 he deserved their numbers thank after that. Thank I deserved, so I deserved the numbers after that. Yeah, I deserved that. <laughs> oh my god, it was that's close crazy. margins. Small margins, small margins. Oh my god, this is the best stream ever. This is the best stream I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! That's it. We deserve their numbers. <laughs> we oh, just. Des- oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Boss man, you gotta find a way to delete that from the internet, bro. <laughs> you gotta find a way. There's no way. The remixes out there. There's no way, man. It's over, bro. It's over. Speaking of sixteen out of time. Oh my man, Adam, bring us back to life, bro. Bring us back to life. Hey, TJ, what's going on? TJ, you're late. You're late, yeah, because you come with this, with this, with this. How am I feeling? You're late, yeah. And if, <laughs> and if, if next time you arrive on time, don't come in here late, yeah. Thinking that you can start asking questions, bro. Yeah, get your popcorn and watch. He's the on show. vacation. He's on vacation. And, and, hey, I mean, TJ's and, on vacation and, and he's still here, but be good, bro. And as for this, and as for this, and as for this, M Bison guy talking about. About my bull knowledge. Why does the bull knowledge police always come around me? Like? I don't understand. <laughs> but why am I always right, though? Why, 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 why nine times out of ten am I always right? But always the bull knowledge police. The tacticals in these men come for me. Talk, what are you not on? Like, like I know I, I never knew you. Had, like, who who determines bull knowledge? Like, who's who, who, who's the who? What 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 um what the authority what police do you need for this? Because I'm I'm confused. <laughs> He's probably a, a ten hag inner as well. I got a lot. Bro, you cannot call yourself M. Bison, a fictional character, and talk to me <laughs> about about talk to me about my bull knowledge. Talk, you talk to yourself about your life knowledge. M. Bison does not exist. <laughs> you said your life knowledge. M. Bison exists, bro. Oh, oh my god. Go. This, this is the best bit of the show because we didn't talk it's about the best you. bit. <laughs> I swear. Big up Adam, by the way. Adam making his yeah, debut on the channel. Big up every I, I, time. Adam, Adam. Adam just needs to come and talk the sense, man. Because you know what? See, from now on, yeah, I'm not doing this. My full knowledge, I speak through Adam. Adam Adam, Adam works in that department. I just cuss people. I'm, I'm, a to- I'm toxic and I just give toxic vibes. Yeah, yeah I'm toxic too, man. Don't I worry. Just, I'm just curious if Traps has um, addressed Mc- McTominay's uh, deflected goal. Oh, I'm just asking a question. Fine. Do you know what's fine? Blame Tom Tomley for the whole performance. Blame him. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I just want to know if you addressed it. No, listen. People have been doing it. It makes you not feel better. Do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to address McTominay's performance. Before I go to Adam, I mean, Sunshine's been here. So we, we went through the whole segment of just talking about the 16 out of 10. Let's bring you back to football. Yeah. I mean, uh, Sunshine, let's talk about... <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't have to talk about the 16 out of 10 until the show ends. But I swear, same stuff. Right, right. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Somebody, I'll stop. I'll stop. somebody I'll stop. needs to... Someone needs to, yeah, at the end of the year, get all of these moments and make one of them videos. A compilation, yes, yeah. A compilation of all yeah. the um, mad moments. All the different channels. Yeah. Said so be on it the most, bro. You know, Said has like twenty five percent of the of the share, yeah. bro. He's got Said the line share. YouTube bro. gold. <laughs> that, that ass, bro. I heard he broke his studio down today. He started taking his shit. Is it? Out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still, so, so we'll, we'll ask him later. But let me let me ask um, Sunshine uh, a question. I mean, the low. <laughs> what a disappointment the low was today. And yeah. I know you rate him. I got cooked today because people. I mean, to be fair, people wait for one of your favorite mm-hmm. players to have one Absolutely. bad performance. Oh, didn't you say he was better than Ben White? <laughs> Don't let me show you Ben White's comp with Rashford. Yes. It should be on Pornhub because that's how much <laughs> he was cooking, man. So don't talk to me about the low. Yes, he had a bad game. Be had a bad game against Cole Palmer, who I also rate. So I don't get it. If mm-hmm. you want to talk about bad performances, Gusto canceled out the low, and Maino canceled out Enzo probably because everyone was yeah. sh- shocking today. But yeah. what, what, what do you think was up with him today? To, that penalty and stuff. Yeah, no, I just, I mean, I just think he had an off day. Unfortunately, you know, it was today, but that's just the way it is. I mean, I do rate Dalo. I think he's been one of our best players this year, but he's on off day, and unfortunately, it was very bad, <laughs> very, very bad. Um, but I think for me, I mean, I'm going to talk about United as a whole and 
I, I'm thankfully I've never experienced this myself, but what it felt like today, like it really hit me today. It's like it, when you watch a girl who loves a guy, so let's say I love Man United, right? And they know they shouldn't be with him. The red flags are like on the wall, right? And they think, oh, I can change them. Yeah. You know, it'll turn around. It'll get better. And you come into every single match like, no, I can, it'll change. It'll get better. Everything will turn around. And then it's the same crap every single game. But this time, we got what we deserved. We did not deserve to win that game. And this was payback for all of those matches that we damn you won, like Scum. Everton and Sheffield and all these games we didn't deserve to win. It's catching up with us now. And I hope it continues to catch up with us because I, I want people to genuinely see we have a problem. You know what I mean? I mean, and, if they don't see it by now, they, they might be, we might have. But they don't the because there are so many people that are on Twitter blaming the referees. And yes. like, I'm sorry, like the refs, yes, they could have been better, but I'm not going to blame that on the referee. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Yeah, no, like they you. are legitimately upset about the refs. Bro, yeah. bro. What, people are blaming <laughs> the referees? Yes. yes. Uh, to be honest, I thought it was soft yeah. penalties, but it doesn't take away the performance. Forget that. The, bro, like, it doesn't bro, change anything. Thing, bro. That's we're up, up, up three, two with, with what, five minutes left? Five Not seven? even, bro. Five. Like, like five. it was the 97th five. minute of uh, 99. Minutes. Of 99. So, we, oh. we had about nine minutes added or eight minutes added. And we considered in the last you know, two. Was, do, do, do you know what it is, yeah? Is <laughs> imagine, yeah, your team conceding two soft penalties but because you know they're shit yeah you're not even bad you know the referees get obliged to get that yeah you should have gave the penalties but we probably would have lost anyway yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying bro and I'm not looking at these little things I'm I'm, I'm looking at the, the 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 symptom itself but Adam listen you, Mr. Bald knowledge here since as as trap says I mean bro I mean, I don't think you need to know. I don't think you need to have ball knowledge to, to look at this United team and just know their shit. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what I'm saying, bro. I think I could put, like like Temi said, you know what I'm going to do, Temi? I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go to Mumsy's next time I don't do a watch along. I'm going to be like, Mom, sit your ass down and watch this game. She's going to tell me no, but I'm a forcer. I'll be like, all right, what do you think about this? I force moms to watch it. She's like, why are you making me watch this? You know what she's going to tell me, Temi? She's going to be like, this is what you do for content? She's going to laugh at me. She's like, this is your content? <laughs> Was this? She gonna laugh at me. Oh. Out of the, what, what did you say about today's game, bro? I mean, yeah, go ahead. I don't think there's much to be said, is there? Right? Like we, not much to analyze, really. Not much to discuss. It's just a shocking team, what a shocking set of players, what a shocking manager, and the end result of all of this is shocking. Who, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> you get all of the right ingredients, and you get that. It's fair, fair enough. At least we're consistent in that regard. But otherwise. To, to blame the referee is a level of it's a lack of honesty that is baffling. Yes. It's just you you lie to yourself so much and you want the whole world to comply. <laughs> now you keep lying to yourself alone. <laughs> don't involve us in this. Like what's the point? What's the point? I just I just don't get it, man. The manager's shocking. Substitutions makes no make no sense. The the plan makes it felt like you know what? If it, it felt like a street fight between two drunk guys that don't know each other. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Late at, at late late at night, just two random guys, way too drunk to walk, and they just get in a fight. That it feels exactly like this to me. I know you, it's just like that. This is embarrassing. Like you know what? I, I prefer the Man City against our Arsenal game that people thought was boring. I thought that was way more interesting and complex than this. First, because they are fighting for something real. We are just fighting who so for who's the less shit to be honest. It was and more mid. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly the mid derby or whatever. And as well, that game for the City Arsenal game was boring, but it was controlled. Both game, both teams had something to lose. It was not a good watch for the neutrals, fair enough. But there was an element of control. We don't have control, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't remember it was the last chaos. Animal. It was straight chaos. chaos. Straight chaos. Exactly what it was. And you know what? I, th I thought it was embarrassing when I watched like. It felt like a basketball game to be on like coast to coast, coast to coast. And I was like, yo, this is embarrassing. It felt very, very, very embarrassing. But very amateur, very not pro. And I was, ah, I you know. And I missed I, I missed the first bit of the first half. I arrived at just before Garnacho's goal. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I missed much, did I? You didn't no. really. We were no, just shocking. No. We conceded another cutback, as you would guess already. Um, Garnacho didn't track back. <clears throat> Gusto on that goal, as you could guess already. 
Um, Unana dove a little bit late on the goal, as you can guess already. Um, I think it's, what, it's, what can yeah. I say? Uh, Varane got injured, as you can guess already. Yeah. Um, Evans came on and came off after 20 minutes. Well, Varane got injured. Yeah, all of oh, that. My God. <laughs> let, let it out, bro. Let it out. Go ahead. Let, let it out. Let, just injured? let it out. Go ahead, bro. What say again? what you want to say. <laughs> say what you want to say. I can't believe that, man. That guy has no luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> Get out of here, Traps. You know what's <laughs> funny? Traps, <laughs> actually... Yeah. We need to keep him for another couple of seasons, man, because we've just got to make sure he's all right. <laughs> you know what's funny? Traps actually added me yesterday on his Instagram story about Varane. <laughs> I know. I, I raised the right. He got injured. You know, he got injured in the game? No, 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 no. I go on my phone yesterday. I see Varane talking about concussion. Yeah, I thought he wasn't gonna play personally. I was talking like, about Ten Hag. Like, <laughs> what you, why are you talking? Are you concussed right now? What are you talking about concussion right now? It's a, it's, it's Wednesday. Like, what, are you alright? Is everything? And I said he's not gonna play, and then he plays, and he got injured again. So I asked Staffy, "Are you ready for the roof to come off? Yeah, or not? <laughs> because I'm so, ready." So, so here's the thing, traps. I know he's he's been injured, but he's been less injured than Martinez than anyone he's else. Been, he's been less this injured year, yes, than yes. Uh, than uh, what's his name Evans. Lindelof. He's pretty much been less injured than everyone else in that back four. Yeah, so I understand telling, what you're saying. The guy is telling his son, "Do not head the ball." No, but uh, no, but he's saying he's because like this, bro, he's he gone. missed the game because of concussion protocols. But what does that have to do with today, though? But how are you going to tell your son not to head the ball in a, in a game of football, bro? How how is that possible? <laughs> What what, what 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 do you mean? Yeah, but I hear it still. It just like listen. Obviously, I don't really know the the, the, the risks of it. But listen, if you're not going to head the ball, you can't be a football player. Be a goalkeeper. Not going to be a goalkeeper. But I'm just letting you know, yeah, Varane, yeah, is on his way out, mate. He's on his no, way. No, no, I don't mind that traps. He, 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 let me let me remind you of what I said. I I don't mind that. What I said to you is Varane is not my biggest issue. You know what I'm saying? Because I do need, I know, I know we need center backs, and now we have a bigger issue than him, actually, Martinez. Because Martinez picked yeah, up that's... too many injuries in such a short span. Whereas, yeah, yes, we know that Varane has been injury prone, but he actually, since he quit international football, his injuries have been a little bit less. He actually didn't admit he's the least between our midfield uh, uh, center backs this season to miss yeah. games. So, as much as he's injury prone, he has been the least injury prone. Now, if you told me he's leaving and you're replacing him directly with someone who's ready to step in and do a job, I don't mind that. But what I said to you, he was not my biggest issue. We need to go into the summer and at least sign two center backs. Maguire might be leaving. Lindelof might be leaving. And as I said, Martinez has been very injury prone. And I'm really being honest with you. And I said that on Say's channel, I don't know if he's going to come back and be the same because he lacks so much physical attributes that it's even worse for him. You know, you could be fast, get an injury, come back, and be less fast. But you were fast yeah. to begin with, so the drop-off is not going to be massive because you were right. already better than most people. Yeah, you got what I'm saying? Or if you're tall and you come back and you have some back issues, whatever, you might be a little bit slow on the pace, but you're still going to be like, yeah, you're going to have heading ability, stuff like that. Martinez lacks so much physical attributes that when that actually gets worse, it might make him such a horrible player. Because you have yeah. to accommodate so much to him. Like, he's such a custom-made player for just a custom-made system that when he lacks things that he's already not even good at, it just becomes so unbearable. And that's oh, why yeah. I'm worried. If Varane that's sits one more year on a, on a lower wage and he kind of goes in and out with a new centre-back, let's say we, we sign to Devo. I'm a support plan, man. It's something I say. Bro, plan. bro, I don't care, Traps. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. He could go. But I am saying... Go. We don't can't, we... that he can stay if we do this. Bye. Bro, right. we can't. Bro, we can't. Sell, we can't sell the whole back line and replace it in one summer. Like, well, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, in, in, like if there's a priority. See, here's the thing, Timmy. These guys want so many players gone. Yeah. But when I say Varane is not a priority, they want to put them on the, uh, oh, the, the front of the line. Stay. stay at a reduced contract. Absolutely. Nah, you know what? Just keep Varane on as much money as he wants. I'm not <laughs> having it, <laughs> bro. There's bigger, fish, there's bigger fish to fry, bro. We need, we need another. You, striker. you did not just say that. You keep, you keep <laughs> frying them fish because when I. You see, when I turned around and I said, yeah, last at the start of the season, and I know you was there whenever I was saying the priority has to be because I was on this Varane 60 million to Saudi in, in, in the summer. 
So I was like, the, yeah. priority, the, 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 the priority has to be, yeah, a centre-back. Everyone's like, no, 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 midfield, midfield, midfield. Bro, oh, yeah, you're right, bro, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't yeah. to me now, your team might have won 3-1 today. Yeah, no, no, you know what? Not Traps, you know what? With, what Tra with what Traps is saying, we would need to buy three center backs. If we get rid of Varan, we get we we have to replace Martinez, Lindelof, Martin. What are we? Johnny Evans is out of contract. We can't replace five center backs. It's impossible. It's what literally saying, impossible. Yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. How is it impossible to implant to replace five center backs? Huh? You name me the You're club spend your whole the budget on center backs. You don't need five center backs. If you replace for one year, if you replace Johnny Evans, you replace him. You can replace Johnny Evans simply like that. Yeah, for one. Yeah, because he is a one season. Yeah, standing center back, so you can replace him. Second of all, yeah, you're selling Maguire. You're selling Lindelof. You might get 30, 40 million for them. Yeah, that's one center back. Plus you have a that's two center backs. Dude, Plus you have a bunch. Million. You have a budget to go and buy a centre back. That's free centre back. Wait, so you think we're gonna That's replace and sell them for only 30, 40 million? Yeah, and you what? still think we have? I thought he thinks we're gonna get more money, Timmy. Oh, <laughs> you think we're gonna forty million five, minus no one? Bro. Think we're gonna replace four centre backs with forty million pounds? How's that work? Nah, How's nah. I think he means on top of. I think they've got a set budget for centre backs already, we're plus buying, the outgoings. We're not, we're not if four, you sell, wait, 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 no, 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 no. You hold on. We're not gonna buy. We're not gonna buy four centre backs. Then a left winger, a striker, um, uh, another mid, like an not, eight. Why do you need to buy four centre backs? Because you're trying you to get rid of them. Them. You just sold them. <laughs> Who just got sold them? Varen, Maguire, Lindelof, Evans. That's four center backs. You're not backs. selling Evans. You're not selling Evans. What do you mean? You said he's gone. You said he's gone. Yeah, oh, oh, he's going to go. So he's four center backs. Okay, so gone. four. Then just leave. So why do, you, yeah, but do, why do you have to listen? Obviously, you've got man like Willie Camboala, what his name is. That's that's you don't have to you don't have to spend money on him. That's his replacement right there. You've got you've you've got you've got um you've got um Martinez. That's two center backs. You need to have three center backs. Why is Varan all of, losing Varan? The equivalent three of three center, center backs. Center backs. Why is it so reliable? Oh, the so, okay, let's just say, let's just say let's just use, well, let's just use this logic. So we have to buy three center backs. Is that what you're telling me? Three center backs. Three center backs. We're not buying three center backs in one summer, my guy. Why not? What's happening? Where do, where do they do that? Why where not? do they bro, do we're, that? We're, we're not Chelsea under under. Bro, we're, we're not, not gonna. We're not, bro, we're not doing that. That doesn't it doesn't work, bro. We have three. We're not buying three center backs and then what? We're gonna spend the rest of our our, our transfer budget on what? Like that's not bro, how that works. I'm not an accountant. I, I, I just love how people turn around the goal and just say we're not doing this and we're not doing that. You see it's, teams no, do this stuff. It's just, it's, just the, it's just the logic of how transfer business works. Chelsea's the only club in the last like five years who sold like ten players and brought in ten players at one. I didn't summer. say ten players. You could buy what? five players, bro. So three center backs and then what? This transfer policy is crazy. It's crazy. Nah, this is what I'm <laughs> This transfer policy is crazy. No, no, no. Do you know what it is, Tem Temzi? Yeah, I feel like I hate where Traps is saying. You know, it obviously the odds as to us executing that is very low, but it's not impossible. It it's can impossible. be done. If you want, it can well, be well, done. Do you know what's you want, though? It can be done. Are we replacing these center backs with like top level center backs? Are we doing here? Now, hold on. These players here. These these players that you look rave about, yeah, because I don't I don't watch them, so I don't I don't know what these top sobers and these um what's the other one the one from uh, Nice and how Chidibu, much these actually cost? How so much I, I was about to tell you, traps, you might be right because of only one thing. How much we're gonna cost? get we're gonna get Tosin or the Bayou from from uh, from Fulham, but he's on a free. That might be the only saving grace to why you could be right because you're not paying oh, for one of them. Listen, He's going to put them on a wager. I don't understand that. Like, people think I'm talking about go out and spend 100 million on centre backs. I'm not saying that. But you I'm do know that to, to, to get decent centre backs, especially three, you will be spending money. something close to that. Okay. Yeah. No, but, not, but Staffy, not necessarily with the new model, though. If they, if they find a future... If they do, if they do their jobs right and the scouts do their jobs right, it could the philosophy could change. Wait, wait, wait. So, I'm hold on, let me ask you something start. right now. Yeah, how much do you think? How much do you think? I'm, I'm sorry, Adam, how, how much do you think Brentwaite will cost? Because that's that's the guy we're. But going we after. don't. We might not have to go for Brentford. We might find someone in the lower league go. that's got mad potential. Before, yeah, we might find the Brentford before he becomes Brentford. You know what the problem is? Get rid of because one at a time. Get rid of get rid of Varane for 
you know, some, let's just say Tosin, right? Uh, let's, let's say we bring in Tapsaba. So that's, so our, our center backs will be Tosin, Tapsaba, uh, Kambwala. Who else? Martinez. <laughs> Martinez. That is the shittiest back line. That is the, that is a nasty rotation. I'm letting you know that right now. That's that so good, bro. That's a nasty yeah. rotation. Better than Evans and Lindelof. Better than Evans and Lindelof. You might have to <laughs> Yeah, that's the future, though. Tap so and all these players to yeah, D-Boy, and that's the future, isn't it? If you bring let, potential... Let you need, but you need experience, though. You exactly. need experience around it, though. If you exactly. bring potential and right. young right. centre you need to keep around. You need to keep around, otherwise it's too much pressure Look, to, listen, to put on keep, these guys. I tell, you what, I tell you what you do, yeah? You keep around, sign him on a five-year deal, yeah? Keep him there for as long as possible. And when, no, and, no, and no. when it all blows up in their face... I don't want to hear it. I'm just going to laugh at you, man. No, how do you know about it? You're coming your back every time. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, what did Varad do to you, traps, man? Right. This is not What are the time? What are the time? What are the time, guys? No one can hear you. Guys, one time. He's knackered, bro. Yeah? Varad's knackered, bro. He was Martinez. So nah, Martinez. come on, Trav, 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 just hold on. You know what? The thing with Varane is I'm willing to... Let Leon go after Adam, him. by the way. Go I'm willing on. to have Varane to start yeah. the club and stay on the bench just for uh, the influence he can have on the others. Just man. because... So where's, the, so where's the influence now? Where's the influence? Where is the influence now? <laughs> He's been on, <laughs> <a> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold second. Man has been here the two seasons. We've had the two worst seasons in Premier League history, our Premier League history. Where is the influence, bro? Where is it? Are you putting that on a centre back who's been the best? Yeah, player? you really you, you can't put these seasons on Varane, bro. Let's be honest. Influence it, then, big man. Do the influence thing. So what? Do you want do you want Varane to start doing Rabonas and shit? Varane's an influencer now. Varane's an influencer. No, hold on, hold on. Varane and Evans are there to be a good influencer, bro. Because this is crazy, my guy. Listen, 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 listen. Stop telling me that my 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 views are crazy, bro. Because they're not. At the end of the day, because the truth is, man, they want to say what they want to say, and everyone's entitled to their opinion. But the truth is, the, t- the, the club sitting in six, yeah, and you men are talking about holding on to Varane. So, what is it? Where's the influence? Bro, I'm, bro, bro. The bro. influence is when <laughs> Luke played at centre back last season, he said it's so much easier to play when you're next to Varane. When Maguire or Lindelof plays next to Varane, they look less shit. When it's uh, another one that plays next to Varane, Dalo, then the rest of the backline is more organized and we tend to concede less goals. And it's not a surprise that we, we tend to lose when he's not there. It just, there are players that bring so much more than just the performance. I'm willing to have Varane and not play him just so that he can train with the young players because well, there's not. so much he can learn. I'm not. That's simple. That's, I'm, I'm, not. I'm, you're I'm not. not willing to have no one in the team that can't play. Because you know what traps if you want to win. You know what traps the thing is if you want if you want to win traps you need players that know what it takes to win, because winning is hard. So if you want to get to the level of winning, you need someone that knows how to do that and has been there before that will counsel the young players on the the discipline it takes, everything it requires to get to that level. It's it there. The thing with Varane and Casemiro, and I'm not the biggest fan of Casemiro as well, but they bring some things that you cannot actually. It's not tangible. It's not concrete. It's just it happens. Yeah, come on, let's not take yeah. the piss. Taps a bunch of toast. Taps a bunch of toast. I tell you something, yeah. I, t- I tell you something, yeah. I tell you something. Yeah? I tell you something. My lad Perez will tell you why. Tell, tell, tell you, tell you, tell you about this, this, this stuff that you can't see that's tangible that can't be replaced. Because yeah, he he'll also told me he that he won, he won he all these things immediately. With no, no, no. Yeah, but Listen, he still he, has Cruz he, and Modric, and he still has Cavajal in the team. He still have the experienced player in important yes. positions, and they're in the bench. Modric is, yes. is holding bench and still making an impact. Coming on the coming on. I'm sure he's. Imp- I'm sure he's impacting Chuamani in training, Kamavinga in training, Bellingham in training. Like those things matter. All right, look, this is what we're gonna do, guys. Yeah, so Leon can come in. Let me yeah, merge. Uh, in, let, yeah. let, let me merge the two opinions together. Traps just wants a, a changeover. He just wants everything reset. You guys want a good transition. Traps. All you have to do is just believe in the Ineos vision. Let them oh, bring bro, in the right people in, he, and bring out the right people at the same not time. About this experience and these champions. <laughs> these man won for a different club. Yeah. What they're so, saying, so, traps here, you know, is that it will be yeah. worse. You know it will be worse Maybe without Varane. Varane, sorry. No, but it will be worse without Varane. Maybe we might be tenth without Varane. Maybe that's what oh, they're look, saying. At the end Maybe. of the day, yeah. at the end of the day yeah. we sold Rune and Zlatan. They haven't won a trophy for five years. We signed Casemiro and Var- uh, we, we signed Ibrahimovic and, Ru- and Rune, and we went five years without winning a trophy. And then we got Varane and Casemiro in the team, and then we won our first trophy. Just because it, it's correlational, you can't say it's facts like uh, effects and cause, but. It looks to me when you have winners 
with strong mentalities, it rubs on the other players. This is the, the point I'm trying to make. I, guess, so I, I, I want to get through on? these super chats. What and, and, is and, and, going and on this season? Because these traps, I, I, I gotta traps, traps. I gotta bring Leon in. I swear, because I'm, I'm running out of time. So let me just get these super chats, and, and I'll get Leon in. Big up strawberry milk for the super chat saying we will have a budget of, of around 250 million if we sell 100 million worth of, worth of Deadwood. How much would you spend of that? Big up the panel. Listen, I understand what you're saying, but that 100 million of Deadwood, how many places is that? Because that place <laughs> exactly there you go, Adam. Because Deadwood of four players costing 25 million each is different than Deadwood if you're selling each player for 10 million. So we need to be realistic. I'll be with so rude, yeah. Stuff. If I see, I'll be so rude. If I'm Willie Camboala right now, I'm in the changing room telling Casimir is washed. <laughs> he is, bro. And I've been saying that. That's one thing we agree on. I was against uh, signing he's, washed. He's, washed. he's washed. He's washed. He's washed. I, yeah, I, I appreciate, I I appreciate out, the apology tweet. Yeah. I sent out a tweet apologizing to my boys, all my all my American boys, uh, Griggsy, Staffy, uh, yeah. Cole, all my guys, because I would I defended Casemiro. Bro, he is done for. You see how... And, and I'm going to attack Saeed for that leader. And listen, there's about a thousand other not- tweets missing because everyone will attack me in the summer and told me to stick the NBA and this and that, and I'm, I'm doing yeah. it because it's viral. I want a viral clip. Well, guess what? It's not a viral clip anymore. I remember when we started him, I was pissed, man. I was like, yeah, no, I don't see it. And he, I think he's class. He's just not the player we needed. He, it, no, he wasn't. I mean, look, granted, last season, he was, I thought it was pretty... He was, it was really, really... I think I thought it was arguably our best player last season. But this season, oh, my God. He is... 100%, bro. Hot Big garbage. Hot big, garbage. Big, yeah. up Mashari, Hot garbage. big up Mashari. Big up Mashari saying, I'll be honest, bro. I've given up on these players. I tried backing Ten Hag, but slowly turning at this point. Why have hope? Listen, 100%, bro. That's what we all said in the beginning. And Temi said it himself. He was like, this team can't bother me no more. I'm immune to it. Big up Shabby and Milk again for the super chat saying, Traps, you're wrong. We made a mistake selling Ebra like Varane. We need leaders saying that Ramos was the leader uh, the, the, the leader in, in the real defense. What are you saying about that? What was what was that? He's saying you were wrong. We made a mistake by selling Ibrahimovic like like you wanted to sell Varane. We need leaders saying that Ramos was the leader in that Real Real Madrid defense because a lot of people said basically when we mean. got him. So people when we signed Varane, they were saying that basically Varane was only good because he played next to Ramos. Like he wasn't that good. He was only pl- good because Terrible Ramos was take. next to him. Terrible take. Yeah. He, I, I think he's assuming you're, you're basically saying this the, the same thing about. Him. Bro, this is what I'm trying to tell you about you, Varan fanboy. I am not saying Varan is shit, you know. Varan is, is a Varan fanboy. Varan is not Varan fanboy. Said about it. You can you you can keep you can just keep and just be working with because as you've seen that as of today, yeah, it, 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 it goes left. Leon, what are you saying, bro? You've been I, here for a I, while. I, you listen bro, to everything. Perhaps, I, oh, sorry, Leon. Leon. Leon yeah, yeah, just let Leon uh, jump in for a little bit. Are you on mute or something? Someone's flip flopping, but oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Let me uh, I've been listening to it enough now, so obviously, today, what a game! Obviously, like, I don't know if anyone was surprised with the result, I wasn't, but um, it's an emotional time for United fans, do you know what I mean? And um, I get it, like, for me, traps, I get it, man. Your boy humbled it into the net in the last minute, so. <laughs> When you back someone like that and then they uh, they mess up again and they don't offer much, then I can see why you're frustrated, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, isn't it? That's like, not why I'm, not, I'm not just I'm frustrated because I'm waiting. Well, taking out on my guy, Varane. If you want to blame McTominay, that's on you. I don't really care. I don't know, man, but no, nah, Varane, Varane, we need Varane. So whether you like it or not, we need Varane. Uh, we need him, we need him then, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But he he he's one of the only bits of quality we've got left in this squad, whether you like it or not. And United fans have got to realise that there's a transitional period between where we are now and where we want to be. And our next phase of that transitional period is becoming a top four side again, because we're not even that. We don't even deserve to be in that top five or six this season. I don't want it. I want one game a week next year. So that's where I'm at. Am I, am I crackling, by the way? Am I echoing? No, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but like it's, it's not that bad. Not too bad? Uh, what have you spoke about the game? Oh wait, 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 wait. You spoke about Casemiro as well. Um, yeah, yeah. It's Talk not about really. Casemiro. It's not, in my opinion, it's not really fair to go in on Casemiro this season. Has he been below the standard of last year? Yes, but you have to look at the reasons why. The midfield, anybody in that midfield, apart from Kobe Mano, who's able to 
slow the game down and to make smart, intelligent passes and to really kind of stop the game and make it his own, which is not Casemiro's game, has struggled in that midfield. I can't rule. Is Cas what he was at Real Madrid? No. Is he our worst midfielder, washed, garbage? Nope. If you play him with the right... If you play him with the right two, you'll see a much different Casemiro. We we're asking him to play a role that but is do you not know his. What, but Leon, do you know where it is though? And I agree with you, but it's the same kind of thing that we can say about Bruno. A lot of people say that Bruno will be better in a better system. So why can't we hold Casemiro to that same? Do you get what I'm saying? It's a different it's position. A com- I agree no. with what you're position. saying. It's no, but it's the same principle. The principles remain. The principles not. remain. It's not. Do you know why it's not? Do you know why it's not? I'll just finish why? this point before you come in, Tommy. Go on. A 10 has allowed a lot more freedom and doesn't really, and can get away with doing less defensively. A 10 can stay up while the other two go back. He shouldn't, but he can do. He can get away with that. When an 8 goes, when an 8 is left, what do you call him, an 8 or a 6? We're playing him both. When he's left like by eight. himself, say it again, sorry. A single pivot, yeah. Yeah, he's playing. <sighs> he he kind of plays 8 sometimes, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he, it's a mix. He's played yeah, as an eight. No shape. Six. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when you when we don't, you don't have a shape, have... yeah, <laughs> literally. That's why but, you don't know what to call it. You, we don't know. There you go. So because we don't have a shape or system, and the players are not drilled to be defensively aware and intelligently aware to know when to go for, when to come back, and when to play together as a unit in that midfield, players aren't going to look great. Why do you think Kobe Mano is kind of? I wouldn't say dropped off, but he's struggling a little bit in yeah, some games. Really yeah, because he's being left. Yeah, he's being left to do everything. Yeah. Do you know what this reminds me of? This is like deja vu with Pogba, but anyway, we'll carry on. No, nah, but let me, let me respond to that because I, I, I had that same... What you're saying is the same thing I was telling Staffy probably five months ago, right? I was telling him the same thing. It's not his fault. It's the, it's the you know, the players who are around him. For me, now that I'm... The more I've watched, it's... Let's leave, let's leave the, the shape... because. Yeah, but that's a key part of the conversation. Well, I agree. I agree. But like, look at his legs. Like, look how easy it is to. He's always like, let let like. Let's just talk about when we let's when when we lose the ball, right? He's always he's always late to tackles. He's always sliding into challenges because he doesn't have the the ability to get around the pitch like he used to. Like, look how easy it. Like, there was a couple transitions this this game where it's like it looks it looks like he's in quicksand, and that's not that's not like that's that's a that's an age thing. That's a that's a I can't that you're not he's never getting that back. Like even if he stays next season, his legs are gone. Like they are done for. They're cooked. His legs although, are cooked. Hmm. Although although I get your although I get your I'm point. Like, what you what you gotta hey, what you gotta what you gotta realize, hey. Tevi, sometimes is when players get older, they've got to adapt to the game. Like and the well, middle of the never, park is he's the middle of the t- park. Well, the middle of the park is the is the place where you get exposed the most in a football match. Johnny I, Evans can get away with reading this, the game at the back, especially in this midfield. Yeah, right? yeah. a striker, a striker who hasn't got any legs can get away with it's, hold up play and peeling off and kind of not making runs through the midfield, but receiving the ball around the box and in the box and popping them in. Just like when we used to watch people like Huntelaar when his legs went, he was just just a gunman still in front of goal. So, with with the manager right now, what he's highlighting, and obviously, look, Tammy, you could be right. We could go into it with him yeah, next yeah, yeah. season, and he could be thinking, I'll and I could be example. wrong. But I, I just believe that if you play, I don't even know why we play a ten sometimes. Why not play two eights and a six, and it would look completely I, different. I agree. I agree. If That's you played Amrabat, you play Mano, and you play Casemiro, you'd get more shape, and you play people that could actually hold the ball in front. Oh, yeah. And you know what he did? In... Here's, the, here's the thing, right? Okay, I, I love that example. You, I, I love that example you used of like you know as you age, like obviously the mid, in midfield. I agree with that a thousand percent. You here's change your attributes, isn't it? Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Casemiro has never been a technically gifted like. He's exactly. never been that player. Tony Kroos was the guy who was dropping deep in at Real Madrid. I don't want to say holding his hand, but holding his hand. Yes, yeah, no. That's that's yeah, but that's maybe that's a sign to play someone technically next to him. Do you see where I'm coming but, from? But, but, but that idiot today, he put him in the six instead of Mano. Did you see how advanced Mano was in the first half? And then in the second half, he put him deeper. And we look better. When a player like Casemiro loses his legs, when a player like Casemiro loses his legs and he never had the technical ability to begin with, that's a finished player. I'm sorry. No, you know, you know what? what it is, Sammy? I, I don't agree with you, though. No, no, no. But Leon, he's so spot on. If he, was playing, if he was playing with a runner, say Fred, if he was playing with a, a defensively smart midfielder like Mayna, who can actually control the game, and he was told to go and assist up front and to also break up a little bit, you'd see a completely different player. I don't agree. You know what I mean? I, 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 why. When Roy Keane, when Roy Keane was early, like if you watch, go back and watch like early 90s Roy Keane, the guy had an engine like no other, right? And as he aged, he... 
people always think of Roy Keane as like, oh, he's this cat. He was technically gifted. So as he aged, he was still he was 33 years old. He still looked good because he had the technical ability, even though his legs had gone. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what, Timmy? No player is, in their prime can cover the entire pitch. No player. Exactly. 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 I agree. Exactly. I have completely you know agree. what? Because, look, I've never been Casemiro's biggest fan. I've never been that big of a fan of Casemiro. But you can win five Champions League and three or four La Ligas with him. And you know what? The thing, if we drop Bruno, it wouldn't surprise me if Casemiro finds his legs back. Uh, it, this is that easy in my head because everyone that plays next to Bruno lost his legs all the time. It's either... It, either they the players are for him. Exactly, because either the players are hiding and or lazy or they lost their legs. Because Fred is reckless. Where is he? Pogba was lazy. McTominay is hiding. Matic lost his leg. Casemiro lost his legs. Eric, Ericsson, Ericsson lost his... Everyone lost his... How about, how about they just don't know how to deal with that specimen? Who, who's who keeps running all the time? Adam has been on Adam oh, uh, listen, uh, on Bruno's we're, we're, face I'm, since I'm, I'm right here with you. you. I'm, I'm right here yeah, with I know you. He is. I know he is, yeah. you, guys, you guys know how I feel about Bruno. He's awful. Like I'm, He's I'm chocolate. obviously he is the he is the the problem. Like that is that is inarguable. But that being said, I still I will be lying to myself if when I watch Casemiro, like a younger Casemiro, even with even with all this chaos, could still get around the pitch. You know, I'm not saying no one no one can cover. No one can cover, uh, you know, 50 yards, all that. No one can do that, right? The point I'm just trying to make is I, I, my eyes aren't – I don't think my eyes are fooling me. Like, Yeah, I get I get that. I, I respect your opinion. Yeah, one, thing, one, thing, um, one thing I would say is I would say that, like, I can't judge him fully on this season because I know how pivotal midfield is and I know how poor ours is and I know how poorly set up our midfield is for success. And because I've been watching that for 20, 30, 40 games – I don't think it's a fair. It's fair to just judge him and say he's garbage and he's washed. You could say he's declining. You could say this is just my opinion. You could say he's declining. You could say, but the system and the way we play doesn't actually suit him as well. So the manager should recognize that and actually play some decent players with him. We all know for a fact, guys, that if Mino, Casemiro, and Eriksen are playing, looks different. If Amrabat, Casemiro, and Eriksen are playing, but we're not seeing that when you're playing with McTominay and Bruno, and you're playing for 20, 30 games in a season. Would you not become demotivated? Would you not become... Oh, uh, Lee, but... Lee and I hear you, but here's the thing. I, I think I, Temi already understands that. Yeah, but I'm, Temi's I'm, not I, using I, that. I, yeah, like, I he all acknowledges that. that, but he also thinks even in a good system, Casemiro looks like he's lost his legs. Casemiro is not out. really for the same. Because, because I'm not going to lie to you, and I said this on Saeed's channel a couple weeks ago. Shout out Saeed. Uh, he's in the comments. There's Unana in Everton who is, what, 22, 23, who will come in at a young age and actually do all that destroyer stuff that you guys want from Casemiro, but he's going to be on a cheaper budget and he's for the future. And you know what? I don't think, I don't think so, it'll be cheap stuff. Eh? I think the, the we'll end up paying 50, 60 million for him. I mean, the fee won't be, but 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 the, the wage 100% will Wages, be because we're paying 350 You think he could still do all that though, just because he's uh, young, even though he's playing with Bruno still? I think he's pretty basic. No, no, no. For, forget Bruno. I yeah. keep saying this because Said said the same thing to me. He's He thinks that Bruno's the issue. I'm like, Said, I am talking about a midfield moving forward without Bruno, anyways. Like yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna not sign uh, uh, Unana because I have Bruno in the midfield. Then then the Bruno can fuck off too. But let me read these super chats. We'll get the yeah, final right. thoughts, and because we're gonna wrap up soon, and we're gonna head to Saeed because Saeed has some in the chat. Where, where, let me put his comment up. He said, uh, "Where is it?" He Come said, on, "Therapy." All night is. Said therapy part two soon. <laughs> we're not sleeping tonight. That is true, guys, because we're gonna wrap up in a bit. But then we're going to Saeed, so we're gonna redirect to Saeed. So if you guys are watching this, the content is not over yet. We're gonna finish here and then go there. So we're gonna be on for another couple of hours once we're done with this. Big up CNAC for the super chat, uh, super chat saying United should have used two lines of defense at the end, bro. All we needed to do is actually just double on Cole Palmer. It's not rocket science. Instead, we're leaving leaving Madueke one on one with Delo on a yellow. Great, great management there. Big up David Smith saying Anthony played well today. See any reason to keep him and Hoyland's movement movement is shocking. We need to talk about it. I'm not gonna lie, that one um, attack where Anthony absolutely cooked Cucarella and put it on the far post, and Hoyland made a near post run instead. I'm not gonna lie, he loves a near post and he only shoots with his left. That's not I'm like fair, brother. Though. That, that, stop that's Garnacho's run to make. 
he stood in the middle of nowhere. That's gone. Not necessarily. Not I think necessarily. it is. I think nah, nah. Because nah. there was more, there was more come... space. Oh, on, there was more space at the back post than there was. There was defenders coming in at the middle. Yeah, of the I think it's a 50-50. It you could space. pick either or. Both of them need to make I the think. run. So I can't put the full highlight on him. I guess before we go, then let's just talk about Anthony because I'm not gonna lie. If anyone here before the game expected him to have a good game, we all would have called each other like crazy or something. Oh, and let's be honest. He was he was quality today. He absolutely cooked Cucurella, and I think he exposed how mid. Well, Garnacho wasn't bad either. I just had to throw that out there. Garnacho was good, but let me say something. I think Garnacho, the game played in his hands. Garnacho's always good in a game. That oh, has no, space. stop it. Anthony's I wrong performance. Bro, see, see, I knew you were going to do that right always, now. Every <laughs> time Garnacho has any sort of positivity, <laughs> oh, it's the game. Oh, the, the center backs played it. No, stop it. Just give Did him a the little game bit not play in his hands, Just a bro. little bit. Just a bro, little why bit. Why are you acting? This is what I hate, bro. <laughs> nah, Every time nah, he has nah. a good game, you Tell guys me what you hate, Staffy. Tell him. Let's, Every let's time hear he has a decent it, game, Staffy. you guys got to do it. Up. I had to do it. You guys <laughs> want me. Every time he has a game, oh, no, 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 Staffy, bro, don't go anywhere. This, 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 I'm not, saying, Staffy. You're not doing this right now. Okay, you're go on, go on. You talk, go he, on, talk. Go on, he talk, had go a on. good game, but I've seen him have games like this. This reminds me, I'll tell you, and you're going to agree with me, the Villa game when we won 3-2. But that's all you have to say. He had a good game, and that's going to leave it there. He had a good game. Just I'm just there. saying, yeah, yeah Renu, you, you're not understanding me. Here I didn't see anything from Garnacho today that I didn't know. I know he could play well when he has space and he's direct. Chelsea today played a game that he thrived in. But it doesn't mean that all of a sudden I'm going to be like, you know what? I rate him differently today. I didn't yeah, see no, any but no one's asking you that. But, but no one's that. asking you no, that. But, but, but here's the thing. No, no, but here's the thing. These guys uh, yeah, like to overguess yeah. everything he does. We're not overguessing said, nothing. And you said address, <laughs> okay, look, I didn't tell have, you to. It doesn't have to be you, you Rhino. But people, every oh, okay, time, because cool, people, cool, cool. this is what people do with me. The people that I rate, the minute they have a stinker, oh, do you still rate him the same? Yes, motherfucker. He had one back game. <laughs> that's 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 the I ones, that, the ones that I don't rate when they have a good game, oh, what are you saying about him now? Bro, this is why I cook these guys. Because you guys don't leave me. The, your, your you best, didn't your favorite address player, Garnacho at all. That's all. That's all the only reason why I brought We didn't talk about anything positive today. Really, let's be honest. Okay, well, let's talk about Garnacho so Sunshine and, and Rhino can, feel, can go to bed happy today. I just wanted to address that Garnacho had a good game too. Let's talk all. about Garnacho. Let's talk about Garnacho's header and not, nah, and nah. not the Travella pass. All right, no cool. Let me, uh, Staffy, let me ask you a question then. So are you saying that, what about Anthony then? Did the game play into Anthony's hands or did Anthony Of course not, because Anthony never plays a good transition game. The fact that he was getting the best out of his defender <laughs> every time. Cucurella. He's going up against Cucurella. What are you telling me? He's one of the most mid- <laughs> No, let's not, let's not take away from Anthony today. Anthony <laughs> we hold oh, Anthony. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we hold Anthony. I'm talking <laughs> single game, guys. He was good today. No, no, no. One second. One second. <laughs> I love one second. this. No, 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 one second. Don't be disingenuous, guys. Don't be disingenuous. What, you might we think you were trash Anthony. today? We no. hold Anthony. Guys, listen to me. We hold Anthony to such a low standard that when he has a game like this, we need to talk about it. I am saying what I've seen from Garnacho today, whether you want to think of it as a praise or, or, or not a praise, I haven't seen anything that I didn't know about Garnacho. I think he would thrive in a game like this. And if it was a low block, I don't think he would thrive. I didn't see anything I didn't know. Anthony's game today, I didn't know he could put that because I hold him at such a low standard that when he did well, I'm like, you know what? Fair enough. Because for once, you look Brazilian today. That assist that we had, if Ronaldo made the, uh, the Salah made that assist, if Sancho makes that assist, if Rashford makes that assist, if anyone we rate makes that assist, every bro, bro, everyone would be on their knees on Twitter. But because no one rates Anthony, no one talks about it. I swear it's that facts. goal got scored yeah. and everyone's a like, good goal, Garnacho. I'm like, bro, this guy just had a Travella cross that when every time Ronaldo, uh, 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 Salah makes it, I see MVP but talks Staffy, on Twitter. Do you, but this do you know guy the real reality, reality though? Do you know the reality of things is Staff Anthony has that in his locker? That's the fact of no, reality, he bro. No, no, he yes, he, he does. does. He yes, he does. He's done it. From He's Ajax, lying, I saw that in hold Ajax. Hold I saw hold that in Ajax. He's got it in his locker. agenda, you know. This is a He's got it in his locker. Yeah, this is a matter of That pass, that pass is the hold best. On, hold, that hold, pass. Tell me, hold on, let, hold on, 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 right? Anthony, yeah, is not worth 80 million, yeah? We know this. He's a 40, 50 million pound player. But how can a man make a pass, yeah? And then man turn around and say, he hasn't got it in his locker when he made the pass. Like, yeah, but you just no, 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 no. No, no, no. I am saying no, no, no. That's not what I said. So we might as well praise Bruno. We might as well praise Bruno. No, no, no. Bruno. no, 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 you, no don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, we're not talking. It's the same, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's hold have on. this conversation. Let's go. Well, I know that's go. not what I said. That's Let's not go. what I said. Actually, actually, this is his <laughs> first assist of the season. When you say I knew he had that in his locker, please show me where you've seen that. 
Because I've he hasn't seen, done it for us. He's, he's listen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Is, wait, 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 wait. When is God, that, when God, tell me. That is the best pass Anthony has ever made as a Manchester United player, and it's not even close. It's 100%. not even. It's not. We last season, I was. He wouldn't even cross the football, and we're talking about does he have that in it? These guys are top. These. This is the highest level of football. These guys can do things sometimes that they don't do traditionally. So when I say somebody has something in their locker, they do that thing consistently. Yeah, but please tell me when you've bro, seen it before, locker, I've, I've never, never seen it. Off. I've never when have you seen it? it? When have you seen it, Traps? I think when have I, you seen I, it on I FIFA? Think, have you seen him do that? In Ajax. I think there's footage of him in Ajax doing it and trying many times. As fake yeah, Adam, Adam, but my man. point is he hasn't done it for this, us. I don't hate this, bruv. Not this Rhino bro. guy, bro, who just wants any praise for Garnacho. But nah, bro, no, I've had enough of Rhino. No, Staffy, no, no, Staffy, listen. Praise I, Anthony. Let me, oh, let me explain also. You didn't talk about Garnacho. No, 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 no. no. I, br I brought up Anthony to, br to make a whole point that at the end of the day, we give praise when we give praise and we 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 we, we, we criticize when we need to criticize. All I'm saying to you is that every time it's time to criticize um give Garnacho praise, there's always a but or something. I'm no, not you saying didn't ask me, and though, wait, but you wait, didn't wait. ask me. No, but trust me, there's the energy. I'm I'm being real. You know me, Staffy. I'll say it when I even people in the in the um, comments saying, Oh, Garnacho stand. No, I'm just trying to keep the same energy across all players. You Same way I can say Bruno spams loads of things, but he's got the maddest cross in his locker. So what are we going to... That's what who I'm had saying, a better bro. game? Let me ask you who had a better game because I think they were the best two today. But who do you think had a better game? Was it, was it Anthony or Garnacho? I think they both played a part in it, but probably Anthony. Anthony definitely. All right, so, so, so you can say it, but it's fine. It's See, Leon, give it all nah. that. You can say the don't same thing I Don't said. twist the context of what I'm saying. Don't do you that. Is, don't Steffi, do, don't insult know. my intelligence. Don't do that, bro. You know no. Not, bro. You just said the same Adam knows what I'm saying. I can, Adam, let, you explain let, it. Adam, go, Adam you explain it. I just want to say, Steffi, for the Anthony pass, and I swear, hand on heart, and this is Ramadan, I wasn't that surprised that he could do that sort of pass. Even though I don't think he's that Oh, but when Adam player. says it, it must mean it's different when Adam says it. Yeah, Let me hear it. Go I, I, on. I get on Adam. Go on, Tammy. Go on, Staffy. Get on Adam. Go on. Go on. I'm going to repeat the same thing, bro. No, no. And why is this man I think what Staffy said about Garnacho earlier, given the nature of the game, even if he had a poor game, it wouldn't have looked that bad. So basically, now that he had a good game, given the nature of the, of the game, maybe he didn't play that well. I think this is what Staffy's trying to say. The nature of the game fitted Garnacho so that he could exactly. improve his performances, even if they weren't that top. And it would have reduced his performance if he looked bad, for example. So if, if Garnacho played a, a 4 out of 10, given the nature of the game, it would have looked like a 5-6. And now that he played probably a 6-7, it looked like an 8, just given the circumstances mm -hmm. of the game. I don't think it was mm -hmm. a shot at Garnacho, to be honest. Yeah, I, this is how I interpret it. So, Staffy, okay. correct me if I'm wrong. That, and that's, that's the exactly same principle meant, that right? I use for Anthony. The same principle you use for no, no, but, Garnacho is the same principle I use for Anthony. No, so no, I'm not the, getting the, onto hey, Anthony. I'm just saying. The facts, yeah. The right, facts, no, but the fact here yeah, is Anthony for the last few games has been cooking, whether you like him or not. He's been. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think he's. I've, I've been calling for Anthony so, to start I for agree. a few weeks now. I, I, I'm just saying, I, I, and I need to wrap up after this and obviously do the super chats. By the way, 350 people here, and we really that the say, likes. all Smash 350 the people like don't even people. go anywhere because we're literally going there right now. It's, most of us are going to be there. My point was was to make it wasn't even to this Garnacho. This actually it might be actually be a compliment to Garnacho for me to tell you that I actually expect these games from him when the game builds in his nature. Actually, yeah. that that's that we could say the same thing about Rashford sometimes when we play counter-attacking games and he gets a couple goals, no one yeah. really gets surprised. But if Rashford scores in a low block and we're playing a tough game, we'll be like, you know what? I'm not usually used to Rashford doing this stuff. So it's not a this. I know you know that I don't like uh, Garnacho, but I'm not this disingenuous, bro. I know he had a good game. Anthony shocked me a little bit more. I'm not used to seeing him take on his defender. We all call, that diss him for, for not getting GA, for not beating his man, for not sprinting in behind and making runs. Today, he did all that stuff. This is not a typical Anthony game. That's what I was trying to praise him. It was more shocking for me to see Anthony like that than Garnacho. That's and the Staffy, only point I was Can I say make. one more thing? Who was yeah, the yeah, guy that I'll said this months ago? I said it's Anthony. I, so no one could get and say, I hate Anthony. Remember the time that you guys me, all attacked you, me? Me, you, Temi, and someone said, else. Yeah, and like everyone, punks, I said he's got in his locker. And I tried to pull out. I said he's got in his locker for months ago. So I'm not getting on Anthony. I believe he has it, but he's not showing it. But I've that's said it months ago, he has it. So that's, go on. That's fair enough. There is season there. I don't, I don't know if we can verify there. that because you're head of the Garnacho army. So I don't know if we can. No, it was on this show. It was on, you can make your jokes, but it was on this show. Listen, Temi, I had like, Staffy, I had, 
It was I on the like, show. Bro, I had like 500 no, subs I'm at that time. No one remembers. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. I had like 500 subs at that time. But listen, you know, we're, we're you way know, beyond that. I'll just say one more thing. You know, with Ant, <laughs> he is actually technically quite good, you know. He is yeah. technically quite good. But Oh, is it? He, is it now? I've never gone against Ant. <laughs> but he yeah. is. Be careful, but, Staffy and Tammy. Be careful what you agree with Leon well, with, you know. Be careful. No, like, when, when I say when I say technically, he's like I don't know. He's not he's not tech tech amazing, Rara, but he's technically sound, isn't it? Like so it's like from penalty box to penalty box, he's 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 solid. From penalty box yeah. to penalty box. No, but you final know, third, in no, the final know. third, listen, he's had, a, he's had a good couple. Yeah, of but games. you know, but you know that he's got, you know, the right manager yeah. kind of locked that final third of him. I'm not saying he's going to be an absolute yeah. killer where he twists people. Mm -hmm. he, I've seen it. Go watch the ice because you can see it. You can't <laughs> see it. See, you can see it. See, see, I'm about to read but, a super chat, and you're going to understand why I'm saying what I'm saying right now. Sorry, but Lee, he, do you know what point. it is as well? He's a proper system player. He just, you just get told to do like a certain Said role this. and stuff. All of this, Said like, this. it's like the manager's naivety of the league has been, I can imagine the managers telling him to do stuff in training that doesn't complement his style, which would be like step back in and slap the ball into the top corner and stuff like that and recycle the ball when really... I tried that a million times last season and it came off like three times. No, but here's the thing. If he'd been told to do that... If he'd been told to do the opposite and go to the byline, he would have more confidence to do that. He doesn't go to the byline because he can't cross. with the, Like, he, he cannot... Like, yeah, but I don't think that's his not, game because, like, you know that like where... Thing, I'm not taking mm -hmm. one thing. I'm not taking... Uh, two weeks of good form. I I'm sorry. I, I, I No, but you know what? I I just feel like I think I know the type of player he is. I feel like if he was on the right and Sancho was on the left, they would work their way into the box as opposed to cross straight away. I feel like they're give and go players. Like, that, like they're that, a different yeah, type yeah, of that, player. Yeah. yeah I don't man. I don't think he's a slap cross guy. I think that's like Dallow and I don't think many of our players are, to be honest with you. He needs I don't think we have got slap cross guys. Let's, let's let Staffy do his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me just do the super chest. Yeah, sorry, Staffy. Go on. I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, guys. Um, big up um, Dinesh and saying, as a CFC fan, Poch out, but Palmer is the next Hazard. I wouldn't, Palmer's cold. I wouldn't make that wow. claim. I don't think he'll ever, he's going to be a, as, as good as the ball as Hazard, but he's very good. <laughs> That's now, see, oh, see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is this is the, the type of fan. I mean, this is a different player, Rhino. But see, what, players when they have good good games, I just yeah, you can't. Yeah, like, yeah, no, I hear you. I hear I hear where the frustration comes from. I like, hear that's it. That's such a hard stand. And that's listen, crazy he, though. That's that's mad. crazy. The next that's one is even worse. Style, bro. That's yeah. mad. Still, kind of and of listen, the next one is even worse, bro. Look at this. Big up strawberry milk. This is the worst super chat you've ever set in your life. In the stream, Dave. this is why the Dave. See and oh, I rate, but see, milk, see, man. see where I'm coming now from, uh, Rhino. Oh, Arnacho has scored more goals this season than Ryan Giggs in his last nine <laughs> at Man United. <laughs> Let me tell you this for free: strawberry milk. If Garnacho goes down anywhere near how we how we look at uh, at Ryan Giggs's career at United, I will consider him very, very, very lucky. This person because is this a United fan? No, you know that, you know, He's a regular might, here. You know who that is, don't you? That's Rhino's burner account. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leon is so silly. Like, uh, listen, big no, that, that comment is illegal. Right. Still, I yeah, even yeah, if you're paying money, YouTube should block. Yeah, there yeah. should be an algorithm to block comments like that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's even now pounds. you know where I'm coming from, right now. Now yeah, you understand why. I'm Staffy, I understand. Bro. Listen. That's right. I, comments like that, please, guys, man. Please go read the book. Go watch another sport, please. Go read the book. I said, go read a book. <laughs> read a book is crazy. Mega Fuad saying, "Hey, yo, thirty-seven, stinky, moving like a black Tom Cleverly." I think he's talking about Manu. Uh, yeah, Manu didn't have the best game on the ball today. Shut up. Yeah. Not a single midfielder had a good game today. Uh, to be fair, Enzo was worse than him. But at least I'll tell you something. Manu showed to me today that even when he's having a stinky ball on the game, defensively he's unlocked. Yeah, this yeah, guy yeah, was yeah. absolutely cutting off everything, winning, winning all his duels. He had 100% uh, uh, dual win rate. So at least you were giving me something on the other oh, side of the game. He just needs just a break and ball. better partners, man. Bro, yeah. Give him a midfield where they all don't just press one midfielder because they know the two around them are shit isn't, on the ball. Isn't Fuad a content creator? Why is this guy repping like Fuad? Could, yeah. is, he, is he a fan? What is that? No, no. This is yeah, different yeah. Fuad. This is different <laughs> No, I'm this saying, is, like, is, is this like oh, because uh, it says oh, like his, his he's arm. Standing it. Come on, so yeah, he's yeah, a Tottenham just, fan. Then he must be oh, a Tottenham fan. Know, it is what it is, bro. They called him Harry Winks and shit like that. So I just let it be, bro. I said it to Sam earlier. I don't, I don't argue imbeciles. No, that comment just uh, <laughs> the bigger for the uh, first. Listen, we're gonna wrap up here. We're gonna go to sides in a minute because he's waiting on us. But shout out to all my super chars. We got Marco L, J W, V One K, United, Blaze A, Strawberry Milk, Mishari, Seniak. Uh, David Smith, Dinishin Pillai, and Fuad's uh, Fuad's army. 
Appreciate all the super chatters. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video. I don't know how many likes we're on. We should be at least on a minimum 200 because we've had over 300 for long periods of the show. So make sure the, the show's at least on 200 likes. Big up to all the guys who joined. Big up, obviously, um, perhaps who had to leave us. Big up, uh, Rhino, Temi, um, Adam, Sunshine, and Leon. And as I said, stay on this link. We're going to end the sh end the show right now, and we're going to go to Saeed's in a minute. Make sure when you go there, you're letting know that Staffy TV uh, uh um, I can't even speak. Stavi TV raid, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Big up. Cheers. And don't Bye. forget.